Oh, hey everyone. Sorry everyone, I was just crawling out of the hole I came out of because I have not paid attention to any of the trends going on recently, but that all changes today. Apparently people have been filming Chipotle workers make their burritos because they think you'll get more food in the burrito if you do that. Which, first of all, hot take. is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Actually, that may be a cold take. Either with the idea that they'll get more food in their burrito, or because they were the class clown in school and just feel like they're so miserable in life they have to film and put other people down to feel better about themselves maybe. Stop it, you crazy kids. Stop it. It's time to stop. So today I want to take a look into this trend and I want to see how bad it really is because there's nothing that pisses me off more than food service workers getting disrespected. Let's jump into it. Apparently if you film while ordering at Chipotle, they'll give you more food. So I'm going to put that to the test. Hi, thank you. I feel like they're avoiding me right now. So Eric is one of the first guys who did this trend and he went in there to test it himself. And this is a big problem when big YouTubers start trends like this. Because regardless of what his intentions were, you have millions of fans who are then going to try to follow you and start doing this as well. And he didn't just walk in with a phone he walked in with an entire camera crew and then he's like oh no i think they're avoiding me oh no you think you think they're avoiding you just a burrito please uh let's do brown rice pinto beans thank you so much chicken red sauce cheese lettuce that's it Thank you. This video is so awkward. The person making this burrito is clearly uncomfortable and they don't tell her why they're there. And the pressure of a situation where someone has an entire camera crew with cameras in your face has to make you make a burrito differently, right? I don't think this is as much a Chipotle thing as it is like a total peer pressure thing. Hey man, thank you so much. That was an awesome burrito. You did a great job making that. Now do it again. Wait, what? Do it again, but this time make it correctly. I don't know what that even means, bro. Shut up and give me extra chicken on my burrito. Do it now. Okay, fine. This is the burrito with Without filming. This is the burrito with filming. Burrito number one, 1.246 pounds. Burrito number two, 1.344. Eric found a 0.1 pound difference between the filming burrito and the non-filming burrito, with the filming burrito being 0.1 pounds heavier. Tell me right now how that is a difference in weight that's big enough to merit this entire trend. I bet you if I went to Chipotle right now and got two burritos that are the exact same, they would weigh different. If it's 0.1 pounds off, I'm not going to jump over the counter, okay? Just give me my burrito. I want to go home. I'm standing outside of Chipotle right now. I had no clue you were at Chipotle. I mean, other than the giant Chipotle sign behind you. Hello, how are you? Burrito bowl to go, please. White rice, black beans, chicken. He puts the little curious face there in the corner as if like something weird is happening in the video and it's really just the girl putting the actual amount of food that she's supposed to put in there into the bowl in the first place. You saw him come in like, Hey there, ma'am, how's it going? And she didn't even respond. She just stood there. Look guys, this is getting completely out of hand. This guy has a camera crew with lights, a cameraman over here. There's so many people. Hey, brought the whole paparazzi over for a Chipotle burrito. It would have been cheaper to just buy two burritos rather than hiring an entire camera crew to come with you to Chipotle just to make sure they give you the correct portion size. This situation has gotten so crazy that national news outlets have picked this up and the CEO had to come and speak about this. You've not shrunk the portion. No, no, we never have. Like from the beginning of time with Chipotle, the whole thing's a little silly. It, it actually kind of really bums me out when people do this videoing thing because it's like a little rude to our team members. It's really bad when the CEO of your company has to go into a national news outlet and let everybody know, please stop filming my employees. Please stop harassing them. They don't get paid enough for this. Uh, I'll get a bowl. Yeah, uh, for, for, to go. Why is this guy so close to this man's face? His camera is literally in this guy's face. He is leaning across the counter. Hey, yo, how's it going today? I'd like a burrito. First of all, that was not a proper portion size. Secondly, I need to zoom in here so I can get a better shot. I think I'm gonna go with barbacoa today. I'll get white rice with that. Uh, we'll do pinto beans with that. Protein for you? Uh, we'll do uh, chicken, please. Chicken, and queso for uh, uh, you? Uh, we need some old chicken in that. Chicken? Gonna fire on your ass. Put that chicken in there. But yeah, no, this guy's being super disrespectful to the whole staff. You can see this guy's very uncomfortable who's making the food for him. Uh, we need some uh, veggies. Get some green veggies. Yep, a little bit more, a little bit more. No problem. Little bit more. People are going to find out very quickly who are doing this trend that when you're not nice to people in the food service industry, things don't go well for you. Have any of you ever seen the movie called Waiting? If you have, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, you should probably check it out. I have a feeling that people go into the Chipotles trying to get more food doing this stupid thing. They're probably just going to end up getting smaller portion sizes than everyone else because all the Chipotle workers have caught on to this. <laughs> 
or they gonna have to hold me accountable. And if you got grown, I'll fire your ass up. Hold me accountable. Did this guy go into Chipotle thinking there's some sort of revolution happening or something around this issue? Sir, it's fine that you're asking for a little bit more, but like, please get the phone out of his face. You can take away my portion sizes, but you can't take away my freedom, baby. Y'all gonna have to hold me accountable. What does he mean hold them accountable? Is he threatening them? Is he threatening that he's gonna hurt them if they don't put more chicken into his bowl? Because it sounds like that's what he's saying. Yeah, that ain't no issue. Anybody in here can get it. You can call the police. I ain't break no law. So you're telling me they shouldn't call the police because you're not doing anything wrong and haven't broken any laws, says the guy who literally is threatening the guy across the counter, the employees at the restaurant, and everybody eating at the establishment that he will throw hands with them at any given moment if they step to him for filming this guy making his bowl. This next guy is proof that this trend is going to end very quickly because he does not give any craps about what's going on right now, and I'm pretty sure he gave this guy a smaller portion because he was filming. Hey, can I just get a bowl, please? You uh, For here. here. What kind of rice? Can I just do white rice? Yeah. Oh, that's that's some good portions. Uh, can I just do some chicken? Chicken. Yeah. yeah. Why does it sound like this guy is almost enjoying this sexually? He's getting way more out of this than everyone else. Oh yeah, you just go ahead and put that chicken on in there all nice like. Every time he scoops the rice or something else into the bowl, he's like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah, can I get cheese, lettuce, and corn? Mm. Be, be sure to get some extra lettuce in there. Mm. That's real nice. I'm a little uncomfortable, as I think you probably are right now, and I think what this guy does with Chipotle in the privacy of his own home needs to stay in the privacy of his own home. Nobody wants to see that. I think with all the craziness going on, I need to go to a Chipotle myself and see if this trend is even possible anymore. Let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, everyone, I'm outside of the Chipotle. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna see how this works to see what happens. Hey, everyone, I'm back. I wouldn't say it went too well. I got punched in the eye, but uh, at least I got this burrito, so um, I'm happy about that. I have now confirmed that Chipotle is not a big fan of the filming anymore. All jokes aside, I did the one trick that actually works. I was nice to the people who were making my burrito and I had a good conversation with them all the way through the line about how their day was going. Then I let them know how my day was going and then I let them know to have a good day. And guess what? I ended up with a perfectly good size burrito right here and I didn't have to film anybody. But I did ask the manager on duty if they've been getting filmed a lot because of this stupid trend going around and all she had to say was, not during my managerial shift. And that made me think of this. Gator don't play no shit. Gator never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. I can't say it more plainly. Stop harassing fast food service workers just for your fun little trend and trying to get clout on YouTube. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for supporting my humble small little channel here on YouTube. We've been around for a whole year and we're just getting started, baby. So I'd suggest hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you want to watch another one of my videos, it's right here on the screen. Please keep watching my videos. We gotta give good signals to YouTube here. Maybe the video is the firework video on the screen. Maybe it's one of my MTV show videos. Maybe it's one of my movie reviews. You never know. YouTube algorithm knows what you want to watch and it's going to show you what you want to watch. My name is Ryan Askew reminding you to always stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is pretty cool. All I have left to say other than that is a b 